While driving through Texas, we came across the opportunity to see the Caverns of Sonora. These caverns are internationally recognized as one of the most beautiful show caves on the planet. caverns take about an hour and 45 minutes and it's typically less than 12 people so it's a pretty intimate group. Our guide was fabulous and not only did he tell us historical information about the cave but he was also very funny and brought in several jokes along the tour. The cave is also typically around 72 degrees Fahrenheit so that's pretty warm um, so just be prepared for that and make sure that you dress appropriately. its ranching operation in Sonora, Texas around the turn of the 20th century. An opening in the rocks was found in the southern part of the ranch when a dog chased a raccoon into a small 20-inch opening. Locals began exploring the cave sometime in the early 1920s and could go back about 500 feet from the entrance to a 50-foot deep pit. This section of the cave was eventually known as Mayfield Cave. Labor Day weekend of 1955, three speleologists crossed a narrow sloping ledge high on top of the right-hand side of the big pit and reached the passages on the other side. Stories of bizarre formations and untold beauty began circulating. In 1956, Jack Birch, a caver from Oklahoma, saw the caves and started to see the human impact that was taking place in the caverns. And so that is when his vision to develop the cavern and stop the destruction and preserve the cavern for the future generations came into play. And the Caverns of Sonora was open to the public July 16, 1960. because there is a fault within the cave. And so that allows gas to be released. That mixed with the water that naturally enters the cave creates spaleothems. 